Hi everyone, Lucky and Herman here, and today we're going to teach you how to make friendship bracelets. Friendship bracelets are the perfect craft to give you that summer camp feel. They're pretty easy to make and a lot of fun. Today we're going to be showing you how to do two designs, the ladder and the chevron. All you need is string, scissors, and tape. You can find string online, at a craft store like Hobby Lobby, or even places like Walmart. First I'm going to show you how to do the ladder. You need to cut about two arms length of your different colored string. If you want to make a larger bracelet, an anklet, or a choker, just cut more length. I'm going to use two colors today, but you can use more. If you decide to use more, your bracelet will be thicker. Fold your string in half and tie it into a knot making a loop. Tape it down to keep it still while you work. You can also use a safety pin to attach it to a pillow if you'd like. Separate out whichever color you want to start with, keeping the other strands together. Make a four, go under and through, and pull. This is what's called the forward knot. Make sure you're making it tight so none of the other colors are showing underneath. A spiral pattern should naturally form, but you can help it by making sure the knots line up with each other. Repeat this until you are happy with how much of your first color you have. Then, separate your next color and start making knots with that one. As you switch between colors, make sure you rotate which strands you use so one does not become too short compared to the rest. Continue until your bracelet is as long as you want it. You can choose to keep track of how many knots for each color or just eyeball it, creating whichever pattern you want. And that's it. Give it to a friend or tie it on your own wrist. Next, I'm going to show you how to do the chevron pattern. Cut about two arms length worth of different colored string. I'm using three colors. You can use however many colors you want. However, the more you use, the wider the bracelet will be. Fold your string in half and tie a knot, making a loop. Tape it down to keep it still while you work. Separate all of your strands, organizing them so the color you want to start with is on the outside, and moving in with the second color and then the last color, with the two sides mirroring each other. Start on the left side. Take your first color and begin by doing two forward knots on the second strand. Make a four, go under and through it, and pull tight. Then continue making forward knots over the remaining strands until you reach the middle and leave your first strand there. Remember to always do two knots per strand. Next, take your first color on the right side. On this side, you'll be doing backwards knots. To do this, make a backwards four then go under and pull through, pulling tight. One way to remember which side gets forwards knots and which side gets backwards knots is that the point of the four should always be facing out. Like the first side, make two knots per strand and work your way in until you reach the middle. Once the two strands of your first color are next to each other in the middle, finish the row by connecting them with two backwards knots.
Continue on with each color until your bracelet is as long as you want it. Each row will be shaped like a V. All you need to remember is that the left side gets forward knots, the right side gets backward knots, and to always knot twice. That's it! Give it to a friend or tie it on your own wrist. And that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll have fun making friendship bracelets. Subscribe to this channel to keep up with some fun upcoming videos this summer. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.